I, I don't know what to do with the thing. I don't even know. I, I got to figure out. They, they gave me like a certificate of authenticity. Well, all I can tell you is this. Don't ever buy something like that on the internet. I remember one time I tried. This is this obscure Prince album, you know, that I always heard Quest Love talking about. And I tried to buy one off the internet, paid all of this fucking money. And the bullshit that came to me. And it was some dude in Japan. I was, you know, I wasn't going to chase the guy down and get my fucking money back. Um, I don't know. I don't know where I stand with counterfeiters. There's something fucking hilarious about it. You know? I think counterfeit money is the only thing that I really respect. But there is something funny that somebody is just, just has the talent to make something that actually looks like the real thing but isn't. And instead of just working for the company in a legit way, they go the pirate route. Like, they, like there's no excitement unless there's some sort of stealing involved. Um, let me look up something here. The psychology of a counter... Well, they have one of a serial killer, of a counterfeiter. The counterfeit self, the deceptive costs of faking it. Counterfeit self, the role of the counterfeit self. Well, that's just not saying what you're thinking, right? The psychology of knockoffs, owning a counterfeit version of a design. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is why people buy it. They're not saying why they make it. This is how I surf the internet. I come up with weird theories and then, um, Jesus Christ, look at the fucking legs on her. Um, this website uses cookies. Oh, does it? So does the government. I don't understand why. I, I don't understand. It says accept or reject, and I just say reject, like they're not doing it anyway. Um, it has been argued the desire to own, or at least to be seen to own, luxury goods combined with influencer and social media-driven culture reinforces the message that the success is measured by the ownership of material goods has resulted in a toxic formula, and I am out. I'm out. Just the whole way that that was fucking written, I'm just like, this is just a fucking, just skimming the surface article. First, and not even that, I want to know why. I just, I want to talk to a counterfeit. Well, you just sat there. Everybody thinks I got to go out and make money. They don't really think I need to make money. You know, like literally. That's funny if you're a counterfeiter. What have you been up to? Eh, making money. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Ah, eh, you know, I'm in the paper industry. Um, that shit is fascinating to me. Like, I cannot imagine this, the, how scared you are in the fucking rush the first time you go out with your paper. You know, I'd counterfeit one dollar bills. That's what I just go to titty bars. No, I'm kidding. I would counterfeit one dollar bills. Oh, it's kind of rough, though. I know why they don't do it, but I just figured no one would be success expecting that. But then you would just so flood the market with these one dollar bills every time you bought something for a grand. No, this is what you do. Your partner in crime has big fake tits. All right? And she goes into the bank <laughs> every week with the garbage bag full of these $1 bills. You create a fake W-2 at the local titty bar, and they, you know, from some, you know, titty bar that doesn't exist or whatever, right, to the Cayman Island or some shit, right, an offshore titty bar. Sorry, I'm not the best at this. And she just goes in, and she drops the sack down, and then she doesn't withdraw it, right? And then you just have like the ATM card and then you just, you just work on that, right? And here's the thing, she's a real stripper. That's it, she's a real fucking stripper. So then what I do is, you know, 10% of her shit. At that point, I might as well be doing fives and 20s, but I feel like they're gonna figure, don't take it to a bank, they're gonna figure it out. Stupid idea. Stupid fucking idea. 
okay, this is what you do. You get a fucking stripper, right? You ask her, what do you make on any given night? What do you make? And she tells you what you make or what the best dancer makes. And she goes in there when the dancer isn't looking, she switch out the, uh, the dancer's, you know, real money with the fake money that I make. And then she'd take it down to the bank and she'd immediately get caught. And she'd say, I got it at work. And then they would set up cameras and then we'd get caught. Fuck, this is hard. All right, whatever. I'll get back to you on that one. Um, anyway, but well, I'm kind of avoiding the, uh, the biggest subject of the week is, uh, <laughs> unless you want to talk about real shit, that fucking world's too depressing. Just in the world of like, I don't want to pay attention to real shit. So I'm going to pay attention to other shit. Tom Brady, the greatest NFL quarterback of all time, 